Hello everyone, Matt here. Decided to make a video for all, all you users moving from a Windows to a Mac, or if this is just your first computer. So the way Apple sets up their computers is a little cumbersome for people that went from a Windows to a Mac. Um, there's a lot of things that are default on a Windows machine that Mac just doesn't have default. So you'll have to go into your settings and kind of tinker around and enable or disable anything. So, first thing you're going to want to learn to do is right click. When you right click on a mouse, which I have plugged in, it's not going to right click. It'll left click, but the way Apple has it set up is right click, for some reason, is also left click. So, what you're going to want to do is go to System Preferences. You want to go to the mouse right here, click on Mouse, and as you see, Primary button is for the left, and Primary button is always for the right, so that's left click. So what you're going to want to do is go to secondary button. Click that right here. And then if you go over here and you right click, your right click is right there. Awesome. If you're using the trackpad on a MacBook Pro, you can just click trackpad and secondary click is already enabled. The default way Apple has it is click with two fingers. If you're a first time user of the trackpad, I would recommend clicking bottom right corner because that's a you know it's a bit easier to do. You just click in the right corner. Me personally, I like to click with two fingers. And another thing I would also enable is tap to click. You don't even have to click down on the trackpad. You just lightly tap it, and it's like a left click. All right. Next thing you're gonna want to do is you know possibly set up a printer. That is very easy. It's actually right next to the trackpad. So you're gonna click that right here. I already have a few um, enabled, so you can add or you can you know take away. Very very easy. All right, the next thing is, um, say you want to move some data from a previous computer, um, that's very easy. So right up on the right here, this is my external hard drive that I have plugged in via USB. So what you can do is if you go to the Finder window up here and you click on Preferences, you can have your external disks be uh, you know, hidden or you can have them shown. The way Apple has them is they have them already shown on the desktop. If you want to show your internal hard drive, you can enable it right here. And as you see, Macintosh HD is my internal right there. Very easy. All right, the next thing you're going to want to know is this guy right here, the dock. And I know a lot of people um, are very confused by the dock. Um, once you learn it, it's like second nature. And I'll show you a few things that will make your, you know, your experience down here a bit easier. So the first thing you're going to want to learn how to do is, um, you know, maybe you need to resize it. Because um, sometimes, you know, people like it bigger or smaller on the dock. So, th again, that's very easy. If you go to this line right here, you see it has an up and down arrow. You can go up to make it bigger. You can go down to make it, a, you know, small. Um, and another thing you can do, which a lot of people don't know, is if you shift click right here and you move over here, you can actually move your dock to the left. You can also move it to the right as well. And then if, just to move it back down, you just shift click here. Um, I noticed a lot of people. Um, they don't like the dock because it gets in the way of their windows. So if I were to open up Safari right here, you'll notice that if I wanted to drag it down, it just kind of stops, you know, right on top of the dock. But you're like, well, you know, say say I want to, you know, go all the way down here. You can um, disable the dock where it only is um, shown when you hover over it. So what you're going to want to do is if you go to System Preferences, click on that guy, you can go to Dock. And then you can have it automatically hide and show the dock. So if you click that and you look down at the dock, it goes away. To get it back, you just hover, and then you, you, you go away, it comes back. So let's show you with Safari. If it's gone, and you drag Safari down, there it is. It does cover Safari, though, when you do have it up like that. All right. So let's bring it back for you guys. And while we're here, another thing that is very, very, very helpful, I've noticed, to kind of, you know, save your time, is if you double-click a window, uh, the title bar to minimize it. Again, this is in docking your system preferences. So if we, you know, enable that, say we go to Safari, instead of going over here and clicking this uh, yellow uh, minus sign, which minimizes it down on the dock, you can double-click anywhere in the gray area. So if you click double-click here, it minimizes it. If you double click over here, it does the same thing. A lot of stuff that will become second nature to you once you become a very avid user of the Mac. 
All right, so next thing we're going to want to do is internet use because a lot of people that get Macs, especially the MacBook Airs, they do, you know, internet. So email, YouTube, Facebook, etc. All right, so we already have Safari open, so let's click that. Um, as you see, if you're familiar with any iOS devices like the iPad or the iPhone, this is what it looks like when you open Safari. It automatically has your favorites. So if you were to make a new tab, which you can go over to File, New Tab, it will always show your favorites. But say you don't want that. Say you're like, well, I don't want my favorites. I, I want a home page. That's what I'm used to. I'm used to having a home page as a new tab. That's very simple. You're just going to go to Safari. Then you're going to click Preferences. And that's going to pop up. And then as you see right here, Apple is currently what would be set as the home page. But say you want to use Google. So what you do, you just type in Google. But as you notice, new tabs and new windows open with favorites. So we have to change this so that um, when we open a new tab, we have our home page as uh, Google. So if we were to make a new, um, we're going to make a new uh, tab, we would have Google. Very easy. All right. So that's basic internet stuff. The next thing we're going to uh, learn is the Finder. So currently, we are on Finder, as you see by the top left here. And anything that you open up will uh, enable over here. So as you see, Finder's right here. If we were to open up Safari, on the top left, it has all your Safari and all your, um, all your preferences, etc., which is very, very useful, which I love on the Mac. Anything you open will show up on the top left here. So we click on Finder, it'll change back to Finder right here. And as you see, we have our favorites, and then we have devices, and then we have tags. So you can actually change the colors of certain files if you want to have them stand out, or if you just want to be um, organized. Um, if you see on devices, it has my external drive. So if I click on it, it'll show you know what's in my external drive, which are time machine backups. And this right here, if you click on that, it um, it will uh, eject your drive, which you always want to do with an external drive. You're always going to want to eject it. You're going to want the um, the read heads to slow down and stop so you can eject it. If you do that, if you don't eject your drive and you pull it out, your drive is running while it's being pulled out and it didn't have time to slow down. And that can be potential data loss and you can get bad sectors in your drive. That's something you do not want to do. All right, and then I notice a lot of people switching from Windows to Macs. They are like, I can't find anything on my computer. I don't know where my movies are, my pictures, you know, I just can't find them. And as you see, the way Apple has it set up, there's no little hierarchy for pictures, movies, you know, and um, so just, you know, basic files that you would want. So what you're going to want to do, very simple, you're going to want to go to your Finder. You're going to click on the Finder, and then you click on Preferences. And then you're going to want to go to sidebar, which is right here. Sidebar. And as you see, the three things, ironically enough, people get max for are movies, music, and pictures. And they show up right here. So if you have any pictures in your computer, they will automatically go to iPhoto, which is really good. So if you put any music in the music category, it will automatically go to iTunes. If you have any movies, they will automatically go to iMovie, which is really, really good. All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys is Spotlight. And Spotlight is one of my favorite things that the Mac OS has. So it's very, very awesome. So what you're going to want to do, you have this magnifying glass, and that's called Spotlight. So if you click that, it will show up right here. On older versions of, uh, or versions earlier than 10.10, uh, 10, say 10.9, if you click on Finder, it have a little blue kind of rectangular window right here. But on 10.10, it shows up right here. So basically, you can search anything you want in your computer. So let's see. If, if I couldn't find um, um, the calendar, I would just, it, it actually, you would just type calendar, and it actually finishes what you, what it thinks you want to use. So we have calendar right here. If I just click enter, my calendar pops up. If you, and if you click on, let's see, um, I can't find the App Store, we just do App Store. And then as you see right here, it's opening the App Store. All right. So 
Uh, there's a video. If you guys have any questions, uh, you know, leave some comments. I, I will gladly make more videos like this. Uh, I love teaching people about the Mac OS. Um, so I know it's, there's a lot of things that, you know, are a lot different from Windows or just other operating systems in general. Hope you guys like the video. Thank you and have a good day.